Few places are richer in tradition, more steeped in nostalgia than this old horseshoe on the banks of the Olentangy, the home of the Ohio State Buckeyes in the scarlet and gray have this place rocking already. Today, a Big Ten clash, and you know when you square off against a conference opponent, the blood boils a little hotter. As we'll see, the Purdue Boilermakers taking on the fourth-ranked team of the land, the Ohio State Buckeyes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. The Boilermakers will get us started with the opening kickoff. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. The Buckeyes offense is on the field for the first time today. There he is, the man who makes everything go, and they believe they're going to score every time they touch it when he's on the field, Jesse. He plays with unbelievable confidence, Reese. Always knows where to go in the football. Oh, the entire playbook is at this guy's disposal. Yeah, which is so much fun for a coach, so much fun to play with, and a guy that can do everything. Everybody on the field is active in a weapon. Really nice throw there to get the first down. And, you know, when you think about Ohio State quarterback play, especially here recently, it all comes down to efficiency. You have to make good decisions. you got to read the defense. and you got to be accurate. When you think of guys like Justin Fields, C.J. Stroud, guys who went in the first round, that's what they did. And this guy right here, I think he has the ability to be a first-rounder in the future. Not the biggest play in the world, but it's one that can set the tone as he bangs his way out to the 38. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. To throw, it's Howard. Got his man quickly. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Nice completion here to this wide receiver, and you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offensive success. Motion from the offense. He's looking to throw it. Catch in the middle. It's Scott. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Still some work to do after that last completion at second down. Throws to the wideout. Got his man downfield. Just what they were looking for, and he's got him set up in business at the 35 with a first down. This noise, this crowd, and you can feel the jolt of energy going through the Buckeyes. Well, everybody loves five-yard runs, Reese, but come on, let's get real. When you're chucking the ball down the field and you've got great quarterback play and wide receivers out wide that are making plays, fans go nuts, and the horseshoe is one of the loudest places in all of college football. Grabbed over the middle. It's Tate. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. Good job by the receiver there not to run into coverage, but to find a spot that the quarterback could throw him the ball. Yeah, on those types of routes, Reese, they say if you're looking, you're booking. So if that's man coverage, the receiver's staring at the quarterback all the way across the field. That time, the receiver didn't give the quarterback his eyes, so they were on the same page. They both knew it was zone, and they executed that perfectly. Makes the grab. It's Henderson. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Nice patience by the quarterback here working against zone coverage. He was allowing his receiver an opportunity to find that open space in the defense before pulling the trigger. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Not a lot of room down here. He's able to pick up two. It's down at the 12.
Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. On third and short, trying to impose their will and move the chains. Defense is there to make the stop, but he's got the first down, and they'll have it first and goal with the six. And this offense has really gotten to a nice rhythm here on their opening drive of the game. Running the ball, getting it down now into a goal-to-go situation. They really have established a bit of a physicality here early. Let's see if they can keep that up. They'll use the running game on first and goal. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Ohio State. You love as a head coach to watch your offense take the field and establish a rhythm and consistency the way they did there. Everything they dialed up was working to perfection. They go 10 plays on the opening drive and cap it off with a touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. They marched 79 yards on the drive, and he got into the house from the six to finish it. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So the Purdue Boilermakers offense will take the field for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. I'll tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion. And the shortest throw on the field for the quarterback is finding your biggest target, and that's the tight end. Nice job. This crowd, full throat, splitting the eardrums and letting them know it's going to be a long day. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. I don't know if the quarterback read the coverage properly on that one, but obviously the result is an incompletion. Now looking for that first down on third and short from the 26. He'll try to pick it up on the ground. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. This is an interesting decision now for the head coach. You're trailing very early in the game. There's a lot of football left. But you're in a situation where you could go for it here and try and answer after your defense gave up that touchdown on the opening drive. The Boilermakers decide to punt it away. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. Yeah, and you know, you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talking about create balance, you know, run and pass. No, when you throw that good, spin the ball around. So the defense has to find a way to affect the quarterback on this drive because last drive, he had way too much time to throw. After the short completion, let's see if they go back to the air. Wide receiver shows motion. To the air, it's Howard. Fires to the wideout. Makes a connection. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. The time-honored phrase for a quarterback is field general. This dude in this environment, he, he's like a stadium commander. He's like a, an elevated rank above field general. He's like an orchestrator. He knows how to, how to set them off and, and bring it up and bring the excitement with the big plays and, and make it look easy time and time again. And that's why this offense is so impressive. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous. And the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. 
Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Running the option. It's Howard. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense understanding, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. They'll have to get it to the 37 on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws toward the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. Offenses know and work on it all week. Third downs, third downs. We got to be really, really good. This offense not good on this third down. It could come back to bite them. The Buckeyes will line up to punt it away. He ought to be able to use this first punt to pin him deep. And no shot at a return here as the punt flies out of bounds. The Boilermakers have it back, and here comes the offense. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Yeah, I think you're just seeing the experience this guy has, right? He's so poised that initially he's flushed out of the pocket. Nothing's open. And he doesn't panic. He's not throwing it away. He's not sliding early. He just knows where the defense isn't. And he's able to attack that space with his speed and get a positive play. Movement here from the tight end. Coming out on first down with the play fake. And they got him for the sack. That type of pressure on the quarterback, that's vintage Ohio State, right in keeping with the legacy that's been established by the Buckeye D. Yeah, and you take pride in that. You own that legacy. With all those guys you see performing at a high level in the NFL, man, you see that, you want to go get it. Recruiting guys to fit those profiles, that's why Ohio State always has a good defensive line. Now the offense has to overcome the negative play after the defense comes up with a sack. To the air. It's Carr. They're trying to get to it. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. We're already in the first quarter, but already you get the feeling this could be a long day for this QB. He's already been sacked. He gets hit right there on the incomplete throw. They've got to find a way to do a better job up front of protecting this guy, or it's going to be difficult to put up points. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chains. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. Man, and that's one he probably wants back. And sometimes you underestimate the speed of your guy or how fast he gets out there. And you can tell he just threw that a little bit too far. His receiver didn't have the Jets to go catch up with that one. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll call for the fair catch here. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And, David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They'll keep it on the ground. Nice move there. And he's got enough for the first down, and it'll be at the 35. Well, guys, Ohio State has the lead here. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. And they've swapped into the field, and we'll get it going in the second. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. From the shotgun, the inside give. And he fights his way forward, gets away from one, but not much doing on that one. Man, not much wiggle room for the ball carrier there. I'm not really sure what they can do to try to create some space. I know. Block better. How about the offensive lineman push some guy backwards and make some holes? 
Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Softened him up with a run. Now to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Scott. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. The passing game continues to be prolific, and as much as Ohio State has been built on toughness, they've been built recently on the efficient passing game. I mean, so many good quarterbacks, and you know you're going to get great play calling, great offensive design. Ohio State offenses every year, year after year, the names change, but the production continues to be the same. Makes that one pay off, and they finally get him down at the 38. It'll be first down. How many first downs is that, guys? On this drive alone, this defense has got to find a way to get off the field. They're playing way too many snaps. The Buckeyes will snap it on first and 10. He'll pull it on the read. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it, too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. Reading the option, it's Howard. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. This defense really has their hands full, guys. They got to play with great eye discipline because they don't know who's going to be keeping the football in the run game. And that time, you saw the QB. He was able to kind of skirt his way to get some positive yards. They probably feel good about their field goal chances from the 29, but they'd love to convert this third and short. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And that option game can be tricky, right? But nice job by the defense playing assignment football. And watch the linebacker. You could tell. Locked in on the quarterback. Chases him down. Gets to him. Not only gets to him. Doesn't let him break a tackle. Gets him on the ground. They'll try to get something out of this drive and kick the field goal here on fourth down. Never a doubt for this big-footed guy. 49-yard field goal is good. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive. Put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut him down. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Purdue offense heads back out to the field. The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. Plenty of time left in this football game. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And listen, the defense will get this back and get some stops following and get you the football back. And I think, I think here too, David, you have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the opponent. Yeah, they just went down and scored, but you score here, and this game's still tight. You keep their feet to the fire, so an opportunity here to keep applying that pressure. Trying play action. Using his legs, keeping his eyes downfield. Short gain on the play before he slides. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this drive. The Boilermakers in the hurry up. To the ground to try to move the chains. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. Well, they needed two yards to get that first down. That's exactly what they got. Great job of execution. No secret about it. Just got to be physical, get a hat on a hat, low man wins, all the cliches to get that third down and short. Now on first and 10 from the 27. He's got it on the right. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. 
One of the things that makes this guy so dangerous is how good he is after the catch. If he's got any space around him, he's able to burst. He's able to make people miss and get extra yards for his offense. You saw it right there. Here comes the offense on second down. Looking to throw, it's Carr. Got his man. They were able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. You know, sometimes even a short game like that can be used to set up something bigger later on. No doubt, Reese, they can pump that and take a shot down the field. And don't worry, they're going to go back to that same play because they know this guy with the ball in his hands is dangerous. He makes one guy miss, he can take it to the house. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. They're going to go right back to him on first down. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical enough. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Caught behind the line. It's McCoby. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Well, he comes up with the reception, but not a lot of room to run after that. Yeah, and I like the QB doing this. I mean, I'm going to find ways to give him the football and see if he can make a miss. And I'm going to bet most of the time that my guy is a little bit more athletic than that defensive guy. Defense won this battle, but I like trying to get this guy the ball in space. In the gun, looking to throw on third down. Finds his man down the middle. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down, and now they have to make a call. Well, it's a nice job tackling that defense. I know one guy missed, but you saw the effort. Other guys coming and flying to the football. They knew how big that third down was. They had to get the stop to give themselves a chance to now get off the field. And the Boilermakers line up to punt it away. And that is an excellent punt as it lands out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. Trying to get to it. And down he goes back at the three. We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. Fast motion from the offense. Running back searching for a hole. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. We got a timeout here late in the first half and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs, but I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. And the Buckeyes will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He gets it away from his own end zone. A fair catch is called for and made just across the 50-yard line. Bunch formation trying to confuse the secondary. He's going to pass. That's caught. It's McCoby. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Well, it's important in this game, this offense gets the running back involved out on the perimeter in space where he can do some damage. That time they got it to him throwing the football. He picked up a couple of yards, but it gives the defense something to think about. The hurry up now, second down, clock ticking. Looking to throw, it's Carr. Quarterback doing what he does best. He can move. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. Well, that defender just was better in his one-on-one -on, -one on the pass rush. He does a great job beating the offensive lineman to get to the QB. 
IndyCar tempo as they head to the line for this third down play. Clock running. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. They're working that left side. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. You know, the tight end's going to have to do a better job of separating and giving his quarterback a place to go with the football. That time, just couldn't create it. And as a result, as soon as he made the catch, he was brought to the ground, setting up fourth down. The Boilermakers will call on their punt team. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. To the ground with the back. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. That's going to wrap up the first half here. And now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Guys, who's had a better seat there in Columbus for an entertaining first half than you? And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And with that, we send it back to the guys in the shoe. The Buckeyes will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Boilermakers have it back, and here comes the offense. If they're going to get on top in this game, they're going to have to find a way to get the running game going in the second half. Uh, agree. So it can create some more balance, some more unpredictability. I, I feel like this defense has got a good beat on what they're doing, especially if they don't mix it up a little bit. So I do look for a little second half running the football palm out of this group. And I think the thing, Dave, is they just got to be more physical. I don't think this is a scheme question about trying different run plays. I think it's up to the big fellas up front. They just got to make the decision that they're going to be tougher here in the second half so that they can win this game. Looking to throw its card. Unloads to the wideout. Fires into traffic. Intercepted. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. And the offense came out aggressively here in the second half, but they can't put the drive together and spit it up on the turnover. I'll tell you, this defense has a lot of athletes. They've got a lot of guys with ball skills. If you put the football anywhere around them in their vicinity and their ability to catch the football, they'll come down with it. This quarterback has got to be way more careful here in the second half. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. Man, oh man, these offenses just haven't been able to find any room to get things going, David. And to a shot for the end zone. Got it! Huge game before he goes out of bounds, and now they've got it first and goal. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple of shorter throws just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. A first down run on the doorstep. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Buckeyes! The offense did exactly what it needed to do, getting the ball in field position like that. It's that killer mentality. You step on their throat, you keep your foot down. When you get opportunities like that, they are golden chances to put touchdowns on the board. The offense took care of business. On to attempt the try. And with the extra point, they now have a three-possession lead at 17. They got the ball in great field position, and bam, bam, two plays and into the end zone. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. 
He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Purdue offense heads back out to the field. Trailing now by 17, David, this is an opportunity that they need to answer. And down by 17, it's not panic mode yet. Like, I know we just gave up some points and our defense hasn't played great. But I think this offense can still be who they are and stay consistent. No doubt, lots of football to go, but you do get the feeling this is the time of game where, you know, it could get bad. If you don't score and all of a sudden they get the ball back, they take it down the field and put some points up, this thing might be over. So absolutely, this quarterback, he wants to drive this offense down the field and at least put something on board. And he is going to be forced out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Tremendous defense there. Wow, this offense is doing nothing. They've already punted four times and staring at the possibility of a fifth. Working that left side now. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Well, that's a great job by the wide receiver there on a critical down. Third down, running the curl route, coming back to the football, making the catch, and picking up the first. The Boilermakers have it with a first and ten. On the ground, it's McCoby. They knock him down after he picks up five out to the 34. I think tackling is about effort most of the time. It's about how much passion, how much physicality you can bring to get your guy on the ground. Refuse not to get him on the ground. That's not a big back. you got to get that guy on the ground. You can't let him pick up an extra couple yards and stay ahead of the sticks. They'll try the run. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. That's a great individual play, and I love cornerbacks that don't just take pride in covering guys. I like guys that like to put their face in the fan and affect the running game. This dude is physical, and he impacts the defense because of that. And those guys are really hard to find. A lot of corners, they're smaller. They don't want any part of the physical run game. Nice job sticking his face in there, setting the edge, making the tackle. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And third down is money down. I got to have guys that come up big and really nice job of understanding where I'm out on the field to make sure I keep that foot in bounds and get the big first down. The Boilermakers will hustle to the line. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Makes the grab down the middle. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. Now on second and short after the first down completion. Scanning the field, it's Carr. He's got it down the middle. He stopped at the 32, picks up 10 on the play, and gets the first down. They pick up the first down on the drag route. Good job by the receiver knowing it was man coverage. If he's looking, he's booking. He gave his quarterback the eyes right away that says, hey, I'm not stopping. Put it out in front of me. I'm getting this first down. Shut down and shut out in the first half. But finally, this offense trying to put something together. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. The big pickup on first down leaves them with second and one. Now the play fade. Complete with conviction on the crosser. Tackled after picking up the first down. And when you're running the ball well, QBs love going to play action. You get the linebackers starting to suck up closer to the line of scrimmage. They're keying on those running backs, and it just makes pitch and catch so much easier for these quarterbacks and receivers. In search of their first touchdown of the game, they are on the move with a first and ten. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. I love this linebacker because he's able to dissect what's happening in front of him, and he reacts downhill, uses his speed to get to the line of scrimmage and create the negative play. Got some work to do after that last play, second and 13. 
He's looking to throw. Keeps the play going. Got some room in it at the goal line. And he'll step into the end zone. Touchdown, Boilermakers! Sometimes we ask coaches about halftime adjustments, and they go blah, 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 blah. And then sometimes they make some good ones. <laughs> sometimes that blah, 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 blah actually works. But it's working now. But it might be too little too late. But at least you got the party started. He'll try to tack on one more. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And it was capped off with an impressive 18-yard touchdown run. So they've got the lead down to 10 here. A little more interesting as they're set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his spot. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you've played a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complimentary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. Dropping back, it's Howard. Using the quick game. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. The Buckeye aerial attack continues to be prolific. You feel as if they're on the verge of scoring on any snap. Yeah, and it's such a good blend between such great offensive talent year after year after year that you see go to the draft, but also great play calling, great play design. They, they've always got it working, and you know this offense is always capable of hanging 40 points and making it look easy. Well, you can tell those two have been practicing the out route all offseason long. They look like they could have completed that in their sleep. This offense has a second down play. From the gun, the running back has it. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Linebackers have such an amazing responsibility. Got to play run, got to play pass. How about this? Seeing the run aggressively, getting downhill, and getting in the backfield and making the tackle for a loss. Got quite a ways to go to keep this drive going. It's third down from the 45. They'll run play action. Makes the catch. It's Smith. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give them a first down. Third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? Yeah, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmys and the Joes. And when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. The give to the tailback. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Don't you love energetic defenses that fly around, that make things happen? The ones that get in the backfield, the running back tries to go somewhere. Where do you want him to go? There, there is nowhere to go. Nice job by the defense, creating the tackle for a loss on first down. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Fires to the tight end. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. Well, I know the tight end did some good things after the catch, but got to give the quarterback credit, too, for the location of the throw. Because he put it out in front of his big man, he was able to make the catch and accelerate, creating some distance there between him and the defense. Third and short, coming from the 34. You wonder if this is four-down territory. Dropping back, it's Howard. Got his man on the right. Moving deeper into enemy territory. Move the chains. It's first down at the 27. Really nice job there by the quarterback, understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. 
Comes out throwing on first down. Now adjusting. He'll pull it down. And the ball's on the ground. And the defense has it there going the other way. Flying down the left side. The 40. At the 30. Tag. Touchdown, Purdue. The defense with the scoop and score. And that's just the guy you want to find that football. The ball's loose. Who do you want to get it? One of your little fast guys. The defensive back picks it up and turns on the afterburners, takes it all the way back for the touchdown. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. The scoop and score. What a lift it can give to the defense. Not content to get the ball. They wanted to do something with it, and they did. One quarter to go, and might we have the makings of a classic fourth-quarter finish. The kickoff unit about to go to work. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. Crosses the 30, he's got away. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. They opened up this drive, getting all the way out to the 35, and now it's first down again. They'll run it out of the shotgun. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football, and the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. And if you'd have told this defense that they stuffed this great running back today, they'd have taken it. They'd have been happy. But the offense has still put up production, and they're still in the lead, trying to find a way to finish this one off. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. They'll try to run for it. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. You got to give this defense credit because they have bottled this guy up all game long. He's one of the best running backs in all of college football. Everybody was expecting him to have a big one today. Don't tell that to this defense, though. They've played with great effort. They've gotten hats to the football, and they have been able to shut him down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. That thing was down for a while, but the big bounce carried it into the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. The Boilermakers have it back, and here comes the offense. To the air, it's Card. Quick strike complete. Makes a grab, and he's dragged down. You just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on him, right? They've got the lead. It's late, and they're going to try to tackle everybody inbounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this and be smart. you got to attack the sidelines. you got to throw first down. you got to keep this thing moving vertically down the field. Wants to throw on second down. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. Well, it was a good throw. It was a good route. But it was the hit that forced that incompletion. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. From the gun. Wants to pass. Going downfield for the big play. It's complete. A huge pickup. 
And he was loose and not stopped until he gets to the 47-yard line. Man, if I'm a defense, i got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. i got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. The give to the left. Oh, no, the ball popped out. The offense somehow fell on it, and they'll retain possession. I don't know if it was luck, and let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. And you know the standard is indisputable video evidence, and the officials will change the call. The give on the inside. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. How about the job by this defense today? They knew what they were getting into. A really good running back. We talked to him this week. It was the main focus point of this offense, stopping the run game, stopping the run game. Boy, have they showed up and showed out and answered that challenge. Looking for a man. It's Card. What a job to lay out and make the catch. He threw that one with some serious heat. This senior quarterback doesn't need a lot of space to get it in there. And the Boilermakers are on the move. They'll throw it on first down. Pocket starts to collapse. And a little too much adrenaline on that throw never gave his receiver a chance. Let's see if they go back to the air on second down. He's looking to throw. Makes the grab on the left. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. This offense has their work cut out for him, man, because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline or you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the clock. The play action fake. Wide open downfield. And he's brought down after a nice game. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. Off the RPO complete. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Back to throw. It's Carr. The offense coughs it up. Defense falls on the ball. Going to be a turnover. Oh, what a missed opportunity. You got an opportunity off that drive to, to go take the lead when you're trailing. And now you turn the football over, give the football right back. Defense needs to come out, bail you out, and get a big stop, get the ball back so you can try to take the lead. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guy. Open runway ahead. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. One big play can really flip the script of a drive. It's first and 10 from just outside the 30. Use the play fake, now to throw. 
gets it out fast. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. You know, we joked that the tight end's always open, David, but play action almost makes it impossible to keep them covered. And yeah, because those guys, they're such good blockers most of the time. They're big and physical, and they sell block for a second, and then they run open, and they find holes in zones, or they get good matchups. And man, those tight ends nowadays are nightmares for defenses to try to stop. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. That's caught. It's Scott. Touchdown, Ohio State. What a catch and run for six. Speed kills this offense. They've got multiple guys that can burn you. You can see it doesn't take them long to light up the scoreboard. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point extends the lead to double figures at 10. Quick strike offense on that replay scoring drive. And the score comes on a 17-yard throw for the touchdown. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Purdue offense heads back out to the field. This one feels as if it's starting to get away from them a little bit, Jesse. Yeah, Reese, there's a lot of teams in college football at this point that would just quit. So, David, we're going to find out a lot about this team right here. Yeah, just running out of opportunities. You, you give opportunities away like this, you're trailing. Every possession is going to be important from here on in. Now on second down after the incompletion. Back to pass. It's Carr. Throws to the wideout. Got his man! And he'll move his way forward to the first down. They'll mark it at the 35. And that really is a great play by the wide receiver for three reasons. One, he knows where the first down marker is, so he gets his steps. Two, he's able to stay in bounds before securing the catch. And three, makes the grab. Just an awesome job. The Boilermakers headed quickly to the line. He wants to throw. Caught over the middle. It's McCoby. We hit the two-minute warning, and this offense is desperate to make something happen and do it in a hurry. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the big fella. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Hey, you know, the defense here in this situation with a huge lead, they've got to anticipate that this offense is going to be trying to throw the ball to the sideline, so they've got to work different coverages to try to force the quarterback to go over the middle of the field with the football. The Boilermakers will line it up on first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. Gets it out quickly. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. After the first down completion, it's second and short. He wants to throw it again. Quickly complete. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. Let me tell you, this senior quarterback can flat fit it in a tight window. You know, the defense doesn't have an answer for this slot guy right now. They may want to think about bracketing him, having a defender play to the outside and to the inside, probably some sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two bodies, forcing the quarterback to have to go somewhere else with the ball. Back to pass. It's Carr. Finds his big tight end. And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. 
I'll tell you, when you've got a tight end like this, it makes it a lot easier calling pass plays on first down, even if the defense is in zone coverage. He did a really good job there working his leverage, finding the soft spot, and making it an easy completion. Clock's running, and they'll try to get to the line. Warp speed for second down. He's looking to throw. Not much of a chance there. He just had to get rid of it to avoid the sack. And how nice is it to have the home crowd going absolutely bananas? Communication is harder. The, the snapping the football, everybody being on time. Man, this crowd really affecting the football game. Ball's at the 22. Third and short coming. Can the defense force him to settle for a field goal? Deep shot for the end zone. And that ball was in harm's way, and he is lucky to get that one back. Yeah, in third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. No, oh, no good. The missed field goal still leaves us with a double-digit deficit. Still a 10-point game. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. And now when you have a solid lead like this, Jesse, you find out, can you deliver the knockout punch? And we're expecting them to come out here and just run the football, bleed the clock, let the big uglies up front, get some push, and ball security, David. That's premium. Yes, take care of the football. Don't make any dumb mistakes. Be physical. And listen, if they want to load the box, don't be afraid to take a shot. And this one is just about in the books. The defense can stop the clock one more time as the offense takes a knee. 